In this tutorial, we're going to discuss the while loop. The while loop is used to repeat a section of code until a condition has been met. I'm going to create a program which asks the user for a password and until the user does not give me a correct answer, I'm not going to allow them to move forward with the program. So I'm going to create a variable called p for password and I'm going to set the password to hello with a capital H. I'm going to create another variable called password input to represent that this is the input that the user has entered. I'm going to use the input function to allow the user to enter a password. Now, I'm going to start my while loop. So we start the while loop with the keyword while. And I'm going to check to see if the password has been entered incorrectly. So I'm going to say whiles p, which is our password, hello, is not equal to the password input. I'm going to put my colon and press enter. It gives me my indentation. So if p is not equal to whatever the user has entered, then this line of code will execute, line 8, which is in the indentation. So I'm going to print and I'm going to say try again or incorrect password. I'm now going to give the user the opportunity to enter the password again. So I'm going to just copy this line of code, making sure that I'm indented on line 9. I'm going to paste this and I'm going to test this to see if this is working. I'm going to press play and I'm going to enter the wrong password. I'm going to press enter. Now, it doesn't matter how many times I do this, and it's a little bit tricky to see, so I'm going to move this up. If I enter the password wrong a million times or an infinite number of times, it will still say the password is wrong. It just will not allow the user to move forward until the correct password is given. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to print welcome just to kind of prove that they've made it to the next line of code outside of the while loop once they've entered the correct password. I'm going to press play to check this. So if I enter the wrong password a number of times, now this time I'm going to type in hello correctly and press enter. So now it's actually moved forward. So this is a way to stop the user from moving past until they meet this condition. What I would like you to do is to create an additional feature on this program so that if the user types in the wrong password three times, then the program quits. And it also tells them how many attempts they've had at creating this password. See if you can do this.